This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful sports to the bone family What's up, what's up A blessed Monday morning to you all And welcome back to another video Hope you guys are doing okay Alright my viewers and subscribers So coming up in this one We're gonna be taking a look at Christopher Henry Gale aka the universe boss the man is all set to headline a music album yes you heard me right my viewers and subscribers the universe boss is set to headline a music album and not just any and any album an album that will feature a couple of great reggae artists great reggae singers so we'll talk about that plus we see where joe root was able to achieve a milestone in the first test match against new zealand and you know in achieving that milestone they were able to come out victorious crossing uh joe root personally crossing 10,000 test runs becoming only the second englishman to do so so we're gonna take a look at those two stories my viewers and subscribers but before we go any further just gonna ask you to hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed become a part of the family man you don't know how we do it over here and sports to the bone also leave a like and drop a comment on the video Alright, so let's get straight into it, my viewers. Now, I'm going to be taking some information here about uh, the New Zealand-England game and the Joe Root crossing the 10,000 threshold from a website called cricket.edu. Cricket.com.edu, right? So it says, in uh, at the headline, it says, Root passes 10,000 runs, steers England to famous win. Now, it starts and it says, former captain becomes the second England batter to score 10,000 test runs with an unbeaten century that secured the host their first win in 10 matches. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. So finally, England getting a victory under their belt. All right. So the article went on and it says, former captain Joe Root gave his successor Ben Stokes the perfect start to his reign by carrying England to victory with a match-winning century in the first test against New Zealand on Sunday. Now, Root, who resigned as skipper in April after five years and a record of 64 games in charge, produced a decisive knock of 150 not out to set up a five-wicket win at Lords. Now, in an high school partnership with Ben Fox, who made an unbeaten 32 in a stand of 120, Root shepherded his side to a hard far chase of 277 with his first ever fourth innings 100. Wow, I didn't even realize that it was his first fourth innings 100. But not only that, my viewers and subscribers, he was able to get his name on the Lord's Honors Board once again. We know that tradition where uh, it doesn't matter if it's in the first innings or second innings. Once you are playing at, Lord, at Lord's and you score a century, your name will be mounted up on that Lord's Honor Board. So Joe Root gets his name up there once again. Congratulations to Joe Root on doing so. Now the article continues and it says, By doing so, Root became just the second Englishman to reach 10,000 test runs following in the footsteps of his own predecessor, Sir Alistair Cook. Now, the symmetry of their achievements does not end there, with both men exactly 31 years and 157 days when they cross this threshold. No man, my viewers and subscribers, this sound like some makeup thing, man. Mm -mm. Anyway, the continent says it was Roots 26 ton in total, the same as West Indian great Sir Gary Sobers, but he will be even more satisfied by its um by 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 its importance to the team. Why did they mention Sir Gary Sobers' na name right here? What are they trying to do? England journalists and commentators, what are you guys trying to do? What are you trying to say? Hmm. All right, let us continue, my viewers. Now, England were uh, marginal favourites and resuming at uh, 216 for 5 with 61 runs still needed. But the equation still looked a uh, toxin one. So, you know, Joe Root in the middle of things was able to guide the team across the line with a lot of grey clouds and the place getting dark and the floodlights on. You know, he was able to shepherd um, the, 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 the lower part of the batting lineup and carried them across the line. Right, so the article went on and it says New Zealand had hoped uh, to hang on in 
and you know they were hoping to use the second new ball to work some magic and thing like that but you know joe root uh basically was was there and he was very very hard to dislodge ended up remaining not out and a hundred and and what 15 so shout out to joe root shout out to ben stokes for getting his first um victory as a captain also shout out to brendan mccollum for securing his first victory as head coach there so you know very good to see um them them doing their thing you know we definitely would have wanted new zealand to get the better of them but um when good cricket is being played you just have to uh you just have to salute them say take your hat off and salute them you understand no the article went on and say root named player of the match claimed uh winning claimed winning the game winning the, the game you know was definitely a good feeling and um being able to pass a milestone of 10,000 test runs is definitely um a joy he's quoted as saying and i quote obviously it feels fantastic more than anything first of all for us to have won the test match after such a long time as um the, you know it's a it's the greatest feeling of all he said so he went on and he said hopefully we can really use this as a way to leap forward as a group I absolutely love the group of players that we play with and I couldn't wish for a better person to be leading this team. Alright, so he's definitely giving Ben Stokes his props there, my viewers and subscribers, while he's talking about that. So, um, congratulations to Ben Stokes for, um, to Joe Root for being able to cross that milestone of over 10,000 test runs. Definitely not no easy feat. Not a lot of um, cricketers would have would have been able to pass that. You understand so the fact that he that he's still looking as I don't want to say prime, but he's still looking as if he has good amount of years to go. So you know probably all a good six more, seven more years to, to, to go if if things continue. So we could be looking at um a man that, that will definitely be piling on a lot of runs before he retires. So congratulations to England for winning their their um first test match against New Zealand. Congratulations to Ben Stokes and Brendan McCallum. You know, they are the new head of the test team there. So, you know, shout out to them. All right. So before we finish up, my viewers and subscribers, we have to talk a little bit about our West Indian brother, you know, Mr. Christopher Universe boss, Henry Gale. Now, Gale, for those who are wishing and hoping to see Chris Gale in coaching, um, it's highly unlikely that you are going to be seeing him anytime soon because you actually did an interview on a popular um uh and a popular program here in jamaica called on stage where they mostly interview um artists you know any different type of musicians and and thing like that and chris gale was on there promoting uh um, a, a, a album that he will be a part of and you know he was asked by the host whether or not he's going to be th he's thinking about going into coaching the man said listen he is semi-retired now so He's going to be playing some cricket in 2023, but um, he's not looking to do any coaching right now. He's looking to his music. So those are the words of Christopher Henry Gale, my viewers and subscribers. Not looking to do any coaching. You know, he's looking to continue his business outside of, of that for right now. And um, as I indicated at the top of the video, Gale is actually heading a music album. Yes, you heard me right. A music album. Gail is heading and um uh the, 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 as i said a lot of talented musicians or a lot of talented reggae artists are actually on there we're talking about jack cure morgan heritage and quite a few other um reggae artists that are well known you understand and Gail is the man that is headlining it and according to what they are saying they are actually targeting um they are actually targeting the asian market and we know Gail has the the, the people over there as it relates to you know the fan base so you know they have him headlining it and the man is saying you know this is something that he's serious about and he's definitely going to be putting in the work you guys can check out his his music on youtube you know he has a couple of songs that he did but this album as i said will comprise of a lot of different um artists but gail is the man that is headlining it and he spoke about his business outside of cricket and music also you know he has a well, he had a restaurant in New Kingston called Triple Century. Very, very nice um, restaurant and bar, but unfortunately, it was actually closed down. I wasn't even aware. You know, he said that the, the, the pandemic last year was, was really rough and that 
basically you know he decided to close it down but he's now oh he has now opened a new thing called triple century um track uh, record so you know he's going to be producing music and all of that so you know shout out to christopher henry gale and as he said more cricket to come in 2023 but um right now he's focusing on his music so we're definitely going to be keeping an eye on the universe boss to see how things goes but we're going to leave this one for now my viewers and subscribers sports to the bone keeping it informed please remember to like share leave us a comment if you have not yet subscribed go right ahead and subscribe to the channel i'm out